Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with Grand Blue Fantasy Relink game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Simply go to Steam, click on the Steam on the top, and then click on Exit, and then launch Steam once again, and then launch the game. Still you're facing the problem, then restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players. So simply restart your computer once, and after the system restart, launch the game. Please try this. Still you're facing the problem. The next step is to connect your controller before you launch the game and then check. If that does not work, disconnect your controller first and then launch the game and then reconnect your controller and then check. Next step is to enable Steam input. Now this has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then over here select enable Steam input. And then check if that does not work you can even try disabling steam input and then check which one is working fine for you so first of all try enable steam input and then check now the next step is to remove controller from windows bluetooth settings and then pair it again so you can click on the bluetooth over here you can go to the bluetooth settings now if you see your controller over here Select your controller and then remove your controller. In my case, I have not connected my controller now. So if you see your controller, just click on your controller and remove device. And then you can connect your controller once again. You can select Bluetooth or Xbox controller, everything else. Click on it and pair your controller once again and then check. This has also worked for many players. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and go over here and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK. Now make a double click, launch the game and then check the controller. Still the controller is not working. Next step is to avoid using alt tab. So for many users, uh, when the game is running, if you press Alt plus tab, and once you come back to the game, the controller does not work. So avoid using Alt tab and then check. Next step is to, now this is for PlayStation controller user. You can try using DS4 Windows or REWASD application. Now this has worked for many players. So in Google, you can search for this application. You can download it, install it on your computer, and then you can use this DS4 Windows and then you can check. Next step is to, now for few players, now old version of game input service is conflicting with new version of controller inputs. Now you can follow the instruction shown in this video to remove the older version of game input service. Now I made a separate video on this. So you can follow the steps from this video. I made a separate video for this. You can follow the steps from here and then you can check your control. Now still you're facing the problem. Next step is to disable Steam, Steam input. Now go to the game, make a right click on the game over here. Properties, go to the controller tab and over here select disable Steam input and then close this. Now go to Steam on the top and then go to settings. Now go to the controller tab and over here if you have Xbox controller, turn on enable steam input for xbox controller now if you have playstation controller in that case you can select enable steam input for playstation controller so you can try this and then check now still you're facing the problem but make sure that you restart your game after this now next step is to make sure to disconnect other peripherals so if you have like you can disconnect your mouse and keyboard if you can you can always reconnect it back. So first of all, disconnect it. If you have additional joystick or controller connected, disconnect it. If you have any kind of USB adapter or any kind of uh, uh, like VR or mixed reality headset connected, you can disconnect it. So disconnect all the additional external devices from the computer which you are not using. And if you have any kind of virtual controller connected, then you can disable it or you can uninstall them and then you can launch the game and then check the controller. Next step is to launch the Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So on the top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon, click on it. Now you can click on the game and then you can launch the game and then check the controller. If that does not work, you can go to settings over here and then go to the properties 
and then go to the controller tab and then you can enable steam input and then check if that does not work you can even disable steam input and then check but for many user enabling steam input has worked so you can try this and then check the control now the next step is to use wired controller so if nothing is working you can use the wired connection so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel